In today's video, I'm gonna go over the different shoe shine brushes we offer here at Kirby Allison. There's no question that whenever it comes to shining your shoes, of course, having the best shoe polish is very important, and that's why we exclusively sell Saphir Medal d'Or shoe polish here at KirbyAllison.com. But the accoutrement or the accessories that you use to, uh, to really use this polish is just as important, and there's probably few tools as important as your shoe shine brush. Now what I like about the shoe shine brush is that it is a durable item. It's something that if you invest in and take care of, really can uh, last the rest of your life. I mean, uh, I inherited a set of shoe shine brushes from my grandfather uh, that he used uh, during the army to shine his shoes. Uh, and our Wellington shoe shine brushes are really made to the same standard to ensure that these things uh, will really provide decades of great use. Now I just, in this video, wanted to give a brief overview of the different types of shoe shine brushes that we offer here and how they might be used. The most important kind of fundamental distinction between shoe shine brushes isn't necessarily the size, actually it is the type of hair that's used. Now whenever you think shoe shine brush, at least for me whenever I first got started, I only knew that they came in horse hair. But uh, that is not the case. In fact, we've got several different types of brushes here at KirbyAllison.com that are all made with different types of hairs. Now, the reason that that is important is the hair or the bristle, uh, whichever it is, has different characteristics and properties that allows it to be leveraged and used differently during the shoe shine process. Now, first and foremost is horsehair. So we've got three different horsehair brushes, all made from the highest quality horsehair available anywhere in the world. It's 100% tail hair. Uh, there's actually two different types of horsehair. There's the tail and there's the mane. Now, the mane from the back of the neck of the horse is a very brittle, shorter um, uh, horsehair that uh, is essentially used as filler. Our tail hair is the same quality that you would find actually being used to string the bow to a violin. It's incredibly, incredibly high quality. It's not brittle, it's not gonna break, and it's not going to shed. So uh, you can see that all of our uh, horsehair brushes use 100% tail hair. And the other thing that's really nice about the tail hair is you can see it's as close to zero bleed as possible. I mean, nothing's more annoying than uh, using your shoe shine brush and to have uh, you know hair flying all over the place. Uh, and you won't have to worry about that with any of our brushes. Now our 100% horsehair brushes are available in an extra large, which as you can see is very generous in its dimensions, has an incredibly thick pinning. I mean, you can't even see through that. I mean, this is an exceptional brush. We also offer it in a mixed hair that we call uh, basically uh, our finishing brush or buffing brush. It's the medium bodied handle, uh, but with the same pinning length uh, as the horsehair uh, on our extra large brush. So for that final buff, uh, it's just kind of fun or nice to have a little bit of extra hair. It's also a softer bristle because the cut length is longer. Then we have our standard medium horsehair brush. Now again, because this horsehair is cut a little bit shorter, uh, it's going to be slightly stiffer than the extra large, but it's an exceptional brush. That's probably the one I enjoy using the most just because because I find that it, it fits well in my hand. But again, 100% horsetail and almost no bleed. So that is it for our horsehair brushes. But then we have pig bristle. Now pig bristle, actually it's becoming increasingly difficult to find real high quality pig bristle. Uh, the reason is because uh, the quality that we use is exceptionally long. If you consider that the actual length of the bristle is over twice the cut length, right? You can imagine that this bristle is actually very long before we pin the brushes. And the way that we pin it is you pin it in the middle of the bristle, it folds up and then we kind of uh, stuff it into this turf or tuff. And so this is a very long pig bristle. It comes from a domesticated pig. Uh, and what I like about pig bristle uh, is that it's a stiffer bristle, right? It's great for cleaning, but it's also exceptionally good for any type of shoe that has texture on it. So this is a beautiful kind of hatch grain from Gaziano and Girling. And so a shoe like this, at that, uh, where the leather has texture, you're really well served by using a pig bristle brush just because that stiffer bristle is really going to get into the grain of that leather. Also for cordovan, 
Cordovan loves pig bristle brushes because again, Cordovan uh, just enjoys being brushed so much. Uh, it's, you've got those residual oils that exist in the Cordovan leather. And they really need to be brushed. Also, Cordovan is prone to, to pluming where you have a little white film that develops uh, on the surface of the Cordovan. That needs to be brushed off. So using a brush with a stiff bristle uh, is, um, is really good. So, you know, in my shoe shine uh, kit, uh, I honestly have a set of really all of these brushes, uh, but you know, I'm really switching back and forth between the horsehair brush and the pig bristle brush, uh, really depending on what it is I'm trying to accomplish. Next, moving on to something that is uh, on the opposite side of this would be our goat hair brush. Now the goat hair brush uh, is exceptionally soft, again, made from a high quality goat hair, which is um, very soft. Uh, you can see that it's still pinned quite densely. And this is what I would call a finishing brush. Uh, it's really great uh, for just kind of a quick cleaning in the morning, you know, buffing any surface dirt off of your shoe. But it's also really good for helping just kind of edge your mirror shine over that edge. Uh, and so uh, oftentimes I'll take my goat hair finishing brush on a mirror shine and just give it that last kind of buff. Again, with a little bit of movement and heat, uh, this uh, goat hair brush uh, really can do a good, great job uh, elevating that shine. So there we go. Now, those are the Wellington brushes that we offer here at Kirby Allison. Of course, these brushes are uh, only available through KirbyAllison.com. Uh, we have them made exclusively to us. I've actually been to Germany several times uh, to visit the factory, to collaborate with them, to really elevate our brushes to the highest standard possible. Uh, these brushes uh, certainly won't disappoint you. So visit KirbyAllison.com, check out our entire collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories, as well as other great clothing accessories like this sovereign grade necktie that I'm wearing today. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Thanks for watching.